Okay, man, here we are playing along with Santana. And um, we're going to be playing D minor pentatonic stuff, so not this, but you know, just minor position, uh, not this or whatever. Um, and you're going to find yourself leaning into these bends pretty soon. So what we've got is a case of um, pentatonic blues overlapping the minor scale. That's one time through it. And we've got that index finger floats thing. And that gave us, this is the minor scale right here. This is an extra incident. Extra notes? Couple of notes. Hybridizing that with blues licks are what we're going to see. Cool. So let's go with them. So we go right in our blues box, stuff we'd expect, then we get the same, or it's like almost identical, whatever the timing is, Then we go, there's us on the note, if the song ended there, it might be tempting to do this fingering, but yeah, then we get, and then, yeah, so we were, I was just like, And then very much like the second riff we played, the we're now we're going. So yeah, we're you know, a lot of the time we leave position and advance into it. This is us leaving position for a second, coming back into it. So for what it's worth, that's the same as going, which is me step still just going to this new note and back. Tough to say which one he did, but we go. So, has upside. Cool. Section. Then we go. So yeah, we want to be having a sense of your middle and ring finger being attached and not thinking that there's any downside to having your middle finger literally push with it 100% of the time when you're doing these riffs. In fact, there's upside. Um, but yeah, that's us. And, you know, not, you know, just be sure you're actually getting the right kind of leverage, not bending like this or whatever. There we are. And that's the D's at the end. So it's beep up we had them. And he goes and trails it off at the end. Same note you'd say, just play. So that was us. So we gotta stay spread out in good position there. Um, not, not. Um, that was, uh,. So, still single notey. So, or rather, whatever it says on the page. Uh, right. So that riff on its own, you could totally go, you know, if you wanted. Issue would be if you wanted that note too, then we'd be shy of fingers. So we're just gonna go take the jazz approach of um, you know four finger and then sub out our ring finger for bends. So that's pretty standard. That's like the most generic pentatonic thing ever. Probably the biggest phone in licking the riff so far.
So that's interesting. We go. So there, I would actually use my ring. Because I'm doing. Now we go off independent tonic too for a while. We go. I might not have notated that one, but it's just one single note up there, and then he immediately goes back to normal shit, so sorry. Uh, uh, kind of doesn't matter, you might as well leave it out, but there it is, it's up high, the big bend. And after this, which is up like the, um, the 15, 17, uh, 1920th fret, the last one that works on an acoustic. So just do whatever there, you know? And But then he immediately hops back to the fret and does not watch it. So that's... Rather. We get that note in there in this one, I believe. But again, that was... So let's get back to that. Whatever it is. Oh, wait, we didn't get to that. We ended up So that was uh, at the end. The blue scale. We decided you're going to figure that one out on its own. But yeah, well. Carlos, enjoy. If you have an electric guitar, probably play this on it. Cheers.